it's what no one's been waiting for. It's time to get an engine put in the 240. Currently, he's going to back it up because uh, we got a tow truck that'll be on the way here in just a moment. Oh, and look at the wheels. Thanks, Tim. He gave us those. Re way too small tires, but you know, we're going to get some bigger ones put on there. This is a, a lot better than what was on the car for sure. So, um, he's going to back it up. Oh, shoot. There's the tow truck. The baller hauler. You gonna back it up? Oh yeah? That's from you playing with it too much. No pun intended. Have you guys seen this? My buddy TJ. I'm gonna show you his car. But uh, it's something he built in his garage. Dog's not happy about it. Parts car. Can we leave the super battery real quick? Get the jump box. He can load it up backwards too, it'll be fine. Okay. Listen, guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look, you guys can catch that or not. All right, guys, we're going to get it loaded up. We'll be back in a second. We got ramps that can reach from here to Thomasville. Check out the winch. Oh, the coals got you messed up, son. We'll just say it was frozen. I'm going to show you guys around the uh, truck real quick. Bento box. Is the truck officially have a name? Yes, the Bento box. Okay, a Bento box it is. This is mainly designed to hold his 8.6 or his R32. I'll show you guys those. I may have a clip, I'm not 100% sure. So we bought this out of a town a few hours away, or no, not even a few hours away, Moultrie, it's like 30 minutes away. And it was white, he had these wheels custom drilled to fit the truck. He did the paint himself, a lot of heavy flake. He used to have a pretty cool sticker on the side that had like, you know, something on it and I lost the other side like there, so. Magnetic, yeah, number plates. <laughs> Lost one on yeah. Can't have a unmatched set. See, you can't have nothing nice. <laughs> the screen. Is it five speed or six <laughs> speed? <laughs> you see? I'm like, I'll replace it. He's like, don't worry about it. Oh. Now, look at him. Climb that hill, baby. Climb that hill. Lily. Make sure it doesn't come off. I know it's pretty close over there. So. 
Looking great. that at all i guess i cut the camera off y'all notice that last little cut the sunroof was flared completely up it just bent it the rear latch was bad and uh it bent the roof up pretty good which is not a big deal no one wanted it slick top anyways hey you're good tj didn't have mirrors on the tow truck just yet uh so yeah i don't know if you guys zoom in you might can see the bump in the in the winch uh, in the in the roof line where um, it just bent it up pretty good. Hey, I said no one wanted the slick top. We'll just call that what it is. It's okay. It's an adventure. That's for sure. All right, to the shop. All right, and we're at the shop. Let's get this thing off of here. We will get the engine tore out of it. ASAP. Connection issue? Yeah, let's see the headliner. Yeah, this is the mount and it's it was supposed to be flat. No. So we can tap with a hammer. Try to, and yep. Yeah. Flat spot in the wheel. Okay. Are we ready? We are ready. Are you ready, Nolan? Out of gear and neutral. This had the wheels, a little, uh, the ramp a little wide at the bottom, you know. This thing's so cool. I just want to show you the unfortunateness that happened, you know. Which y'all seen it? No one was sitting on the tow truck, and I kind of showed the upside to it, but. I mean, it, it bent this up so good. And then the roof is just super weak. And there's rust, bad we rust. Discovered this right here, and then I put this around. Y'all see this right here? This thing's just rotten. And I don't know if we should just get a cap for it and just roof cap the thing, or try to blend this in real easy, or if I just. I don't want to do it. I don't know. No, no one's saying let's just find a slick top shell, which yeah. might be an option. Should take us a few months to kind of carry on this project here. A slick top shell. I want to know down in the comments below what should we do? I mean, you see it separated the roof completely. The glue separated here, the factory stuff, and it's got this whole thing just kind of messed up. Try to use a piece of two by four to knock it back down with a hammer. It didn't really work. All right, set that back on there, Nolan. We're definitely not abandoning a 240 project, that's for sure. You know, we've got too much into this one already, but. You know, maybe we find another shell and just make this one a straight fun car. fun weekend car or a parts car. I mean, I can cap it then, don't care how it looks, because we're looking for a clean car. And I was going to paint all this because we wanted to have him a good daily. He wants an S13, and we're not going to give up on that whatsoever. Uh, all right. The red got, car curse. The red car curse. All right, so we got to head to TJ's house real quick, pick up our air hammer, 
and then I'll show you his cars and yeah at the homie's house that's his other one we were going to do the original build on this one for the little baller hauler but I'm actually going to buy that one and just copycat him completely and build my own or have him help me build it if he will I'll show you guys his daily it's not the baller hauler itself which is still cool but it's this uh, the Chaser Tour V we went to Jacksonville a few years no a few months back I guess it was last year and uh pick this up slow car club slow car club automatic VVTI 1J it's his dad mobile All right, I'll show you his other goodies you get the motor straight no one it probably gonna fall over so we get a strap on it and this is the current project he swore it run one time I've never seen it I think it it's full of crap. It did. It had an F20. It had an F20 swap. He used to have an S2000. And then he decided to sell the S2000. Because it had a built K24 in it. And nobody wanted to buy it because it was like a track car. So he completely made it a daily driver again. Pulled the built K24 out. And that's actually going in this. But we pulled the glass out, what, last weekend? It's a pain in the butt. Though the windshield was. The rest of it was pretty easy. But it's going, um, it's going white. Your typical Panda build. He's got championship white though. You know, the, the Honda white because you know, that's, that's the roots. You know, we all come from Hondas. Tofu to go. You got some really cool bumpers over there for it. I don't know what they're called, but. Ooh, big fancy. And then uh, I'll show you guys the engine. This was in the, uh, in his S2000, which he, you know, this was previously K-Swap, so this will go in there pretty easy anyways, but. That's all that. Headlight buckets, body kits, Watanabe wheels, which you see. He's got a couple different sets. And that, and that. And then, yeah. And this is a, it's a RB30. It's a Strucker, right? So it's an RB32 by Rips Racing out of New Zealand. And that's going in to this, which is his baby. Lift that up for me slightly there, Mr. Nolan. Yeah. He actually had this for quite a while. He bought it from, it was Montu, wasn't it? Yeah. So he got it from Montu. If anyone's seen the story online a few years ago where they stood behind a car that they sold. Because he bought it, brought it to town, drove it around for an hour, and it chumped a rod or something. Yeah, spun a bearing. Spun a bearing, and uh, they took it back. They put him a new engine in it for him, which was a stock engine. The car was previously built. Built, built you know, which was kind of questionable. But, um, yeah, if y'all remember the big turbo that I put on the 7M last year actually come off of this car. Uh, but that'll do it for We got the 240 to the shop. Found the 240, had some more rest than what we thought, and broke the hell out of the roof on it. So, what do we do, you know? But we'll see y'all on the next one whenever we put an engine in it or decide to find another shell to drop everything in. I don't know what we're going to do. What would TJ do? Yeah, what would you do, TJ? Uh, buy a different one. He said buy a different one. Buy you guys, we'll, we'll, we'll just put it down in the comments. Should we just get a different one? <laughs> Thanks.